for our next name of our Savior. It helps to know just a little bit of Greek, specifically two letters of the Greek language, the Greek alphabet, the first and the last. The first letter of the Greek alphabet is alpha, the last is omega. This name for our Savior comes from the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. Interestingly, it's a name that we hear our Lord giving Himself. We hear it from Revelation chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. Look, He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see Him, even those who pierced Him. And all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of Him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. This name of our Lord, Alpha and Omega, really tells us three, three important truths about the one whose birth we celebrate tonight. First of all, as Jesus calls himself the Alpha, he's referring to the fact that he is the beginning. Obviously, Jesus was born a long time ago. It's over 2,000 years ago. But that name for our Savior tells us that he existed actually a lot longer than 2,000 years ago. He was there in the beginning when there was nothing except God. He was there when the world was created. He was there before the world was created. He was there with the Father and the Holy Spirit. St. John, in his gospel, echoes that same thought behind this name of our Lord when he says in the beginning of that gospel, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, that's Jesus, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things, all things, the universe itself owe their beginning to the baby who was born 2,000 years ago because he was there in the beginning. He has no beginning. He is God. In between, though, the Alpha and the Omega is the, the rest of that alphabet, reminding us that Jesus isn't just the beginning. He's here. He's now. He's with us here in our worship tonight. He promised where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I with you, with them. That also means he's with us in our lives, even though maybe sometimes we seem all alone. We're not. He's there with us to guide us and to guard us and to protect us. He's here now in our world, even though sometimes it seems like our world is out of control. It is not. The Alpha and the Omega is in control of our world. He's now. But He's the Omega. He is the one who is to come. The omega, the last letter of the Greek alphabet, reminds us that not only did Jesus come once, he's going to come again at the end, at the end of the world. As he points out in the reading I just read, he will come at it in judgment and all people will see him even those who have rejected him, even those who pierced his hands and feet at his crucifixion, they will mourn because of him. We won't. The baby whose birth we celebrate tonight will come again as judge of all, but we need not fear that day and we will not mourn on that day because that's the day when he will raise our bodies from the dust of the earth, resurrected and made perfect. And then we will be with him forever, whose name is the Alpha and the Omega.